Astros and Yankees from the Bronx. American League wild card game. Win in advance, lose and go home. Dallas Keuchel, 20-game winner, working on three days rest for Houston. Two starts against the Yanks during the regular season. 16 innings, no runs allowed. Jacoby Ellsbury not getting the start for the Yankees in this one against the lefty Keuchel. Masahiro Tanaka on the hill for New York. We pick things up in the second. No score. It's Tanaka facing Colby Rasmus. And he lifts the high pitch way back in right field and well back into the seats for a home run. Colby Rasmus, the first pitch he sees from Tanaka, gives the Astros a 1-0 lead. Now Evan Gaddis first pitch swinging, fly ball to right center, it is carrying and it is caught by Gardner up against the fence in deep right center to deny Evan Gaddis. Now the wind up with a hesitation and the first pitch is hit hard. That one squashed out to left field. First pitch swinging, a belt to deep left field and it is two to nothing. Off the shelf and goes deep into the bullpen and left center field. And the Astros jubilant in the third base dugout. First pitch swinging, that's hit down the right field line. Springer into the corner and makes the catch on the run. One of the uh, underappreciated aspects of this Astros team doesn't get talked about a lot. They're a pretty good defensive team. And he gets Gardner for the third time tonight. Sip and Qualls ready, and what is Hinch going to do? It's a situation where, you know, Alex's last at bat, he hit a ball to right field. Springer made a great play on, and he's thinking, you know, hey, what do you think with this guy? You know, what are we going to do here? Can you get him? If you can't, we got to get Qualls in. On their feet in the Bronx. Two on, two out. First pitch swinging and a routine fly ball to center to end the inning. The only runs for the Astros. Coming on a couple of solo home runs. Colby Rasmus, Carlos Gomez. Hooked into left field. It is dropping for a base hit. And VR will come in to score as the Astros' lead is now 3 to nothing. This is the largest crowd the Astros have played in front of since 2010 against the Dodgers. Handled themselves real well so far. Round ball right into the shift, fielded by Correa to the left of second, throws the first in time, and that is the ball game. Start spreading the news. The Houston Astros win the AL wildcard game, beating the New York Yankees 3 to nothing. It's the first postseason win for Houston since 2005 when they were a member of the National League. Dallas Keuchel, the star in this one, going six scoreless innings, combined with the regular season and three starts against the Yankees, 22 scoreless innings for Keuchel. The bullpen takes care of the rest in this one, capped by Luke Gregerson getting the save. Game one of the ALDS Thursday night in Kansas City at 7.30. But first, for more on the Astros' win, we throw it over to Tim McMaster and Jeff Nelson at Yankee Stadium. Anyone who doubted that Dallas Keuchel could get things done in the postseason on three days rest, well, he proved them wrong. Talk about his performance in a win here for the Astros and the Bronx. Well, absolutely. Three days didn't mean nothing. You know, he proved that. And he was outstanding. You know, he did struggle in the first couple innings to find his rhythm, but I liked his game plan. His first few times, especially the first time around in the Yankee lineup, a lot of fastballs, some cut fastballs. The second time, he mixed in that changeup and that nasty breaking ball. And again, what did you say, 22 scoreless innings. He was outstanding, really kept the Yankee hitters off balance. Yeah, the Yankees didn't score a run against Keuchel all season long.